Hello, it's Mike from the FXPivotPoint.com. Taking a look at the day's action, and as you can see, we spent we started the the day below the pivot, and we spent most of the day below it. The little pop here is a little pop, which should have been a signal. Um, after the news came out, after the market, here was the news. After that should have been an indicator that the news was being digested and there should have been a sell point somewhere in here for it to head back down, which it did. And I didn't like the amount of time it took. It really seemed like it took a long time for the, the news to be ingested into the market uh, today and it didn't react as, as fast as I like, so I, I definitely took some scalps. Where's my... People always love to see your trades, huh? Um, So they're there. You can see I started to scalp. Little trades. Not a lot going on today. Don't know how many pips is there. Don't care. Made money. Didn't lose any. And then we've got this. And I miss this. Oh, I see stuff like this. It makes me want to cry. Simply wasn't there a computer at the time. <sighs> Either way, what do we have? We have the pivot point here. Uh, again, the stall. This. I should not have been to lunch during this time, but you can see that would have been another good sell. Another great opportunity. It gets near here. Remember, keep in mind once once this happens, we spend the majority of the day below. The chances of it going above here, well, uh, you know, unless there was some kind of news or some kind of event, particularly on a Monday, rare. Not going to happen. And then we had this. Nice little trend line, but look where it stopped. Oh, it stopped at the pivot point. Almost to the pit. Boy, I'm glad pivot points don't work. And, well, we had a little triangle going on. I guess there were some people. As a matter of fact, I think someone on the factory drew this. And, uh, you know, this would have been a great a great triangle to trade because you got a break, and if hopefully they were watching and they traded the break right down to S1. And then so we're, I'm definitely going to wait for a little retrace if we have one uh, back in this area before I sell. Hopefully it'll move back. Uh, but it just felt like today. It didn't feel like today when this was going on. Like the market was just you know absorbing some of the excess liquidity and we were going higher here. It just didn't feel right. It seems like the market's just tired of uh, buying dollars. Uh, who the hell knows? Well, apparently not here, huh? Ooh, that's ugly. I mean, pretty ugly that I missed it. All right, so what else do we have on any of the majors? So let's let's put them back down to the system tray. What do we got on a longer term? Uh, look at the 61.8. Uh, what else? Let's move out a little bit in the four hour. So you think we're headed back down here? Mm, I do. How about what else did I want to look at? What's the, what's the dollar yen doing? Ooh, look at that. Here you can tell my... Uh, we would have got stopped out here if I would have taken that one. But here, look, again, getting back to... When the... the Where in the hell's my tool? There he is. Getting back to the the fact that once... You know, and... When there's not really a, a clear trend, like there there isn't right now. I mean, the, obviously, the clear trend in the year USD and, and the pound is down, but... You're just getting this feeling like the bottoming process. Whenever that happens, you can, you know, you just, it's very, you need to be very cautious. That's all I'm saying. And here, look, so we get this move down from the beginning of the day. We're up, we're up, falls down. Look where it falls. Look where it falls. And then finally, we break. But we break, and then look where it comes back up before it goes back down. And then it just held on until. Look how close we get to the pivot point, which would have been a great sell opportunity. Because uh, you had this little downtrend also. So you had a downtrend, that would have been your first point. And the pivot point, and obviously my trading in the black indicator, blew some sell signals. And look where it stopped. No kidding. Right at S1. So do you think we move back up here, or 
Is this the bottom for the day? I haven't been trading, haven't been watching, don't know what's going on with the, this pair, the dollar yen, but it, boy, it's interesting when you just, you, a pure tech approach, and to see things like this happening. Because it just, it really does just validate, for me, uh, how effective pivots are, how effective my system is, how effective, you know, some of these other uh, tools or trend lines. So it just, it really makes uh, trading just a little, a little easier, if that's possible. All right, well, that's it. It's a short one today, and we will talk to you all soon. Have a good evening.